This is the Halo 3 Sniper Rifle. As a kid, I absolutely loved playing with this gun. And now that I'm grown up and can build stuff, I'm gonna make it real. <laughs> this year, we've made some great progress on our quest to shoot every real-life Halo weapon in existence. And we've shot some crazy weapons, like a real-life functioning Halo shotgun, a battle rifle, and even a needler. But I'm not satisfied just yet, because there's some epic Halo weapons that don't currently exist that would be amazing to shoot in real life. So today, we turn our sights to the Halo Sniper Rifle. In-game, the Halo Sniper's overall aesthetic is beautiful. It shoots a mammoth round that eliminates the enemy in one shot. But my favorite part is the scope. From the digital screen to the super quick zoom, this scope is one of a kind. I want to replicate the experience that the scope brings to the player and harness the incredible firepower that the sniper rifle brings. And to do that, my plan is to build a functional Halo 3 sniper scope and mount it to one of the coolest anti-material rifles in existence, the Barrett 50 Cal. Plus, the one and only Master Chief is gonna shoot it. Nah, I'm getting way ahead of myself. The base of this project is this, an actual functioning scope. I want our scope to have a digital screen. So connected to the scope is a small camera. Attached to the camera is a battery pack and a digital screen that looks like this. Amazing. Next, I want our scope to zoom in and zoom out easily, just like you can in the game. Luckily, that problem was just solved by a company called Antimatter Industries. Introducing the scope switch. The scope switch allows you to zoom in and zoom out just like you would in a first person shooter with a quick flick of a wrist. You may have stumbled upon this video of the scope switch in action like I did. So I reached out to Antimatter and it turns out that they're Halo fans. And Antimatter graciously sent us a scope switch to use on this project. This concept is so dope and I'm ecstatic that we're using this on this build. Thank you Antimatter, you guys are the best. You can learn more about this product in our description. Now that we figured out functionality, it's time to model a shell that looks like the Halo 3 sniper scope but also houses our functional components. So I reached out to the one and only Vec3D to help make this shell. I sent him a 3D scan of the components and he got to work. And after a few days, this is what he came up with. The model is separate separated into four pieces, the front barrel, the screen housing, and the two-piece main part that clamps down onto the scope. I am so happy with how this thing is turning out. Next, it's time to print this amazing model. I printed each of these pieces in PLA, and after an entire week of printing, the parts turned out beautifully. Definitely worth the wait. I had to use a couple different colors of filament because I ran out. There's no deformities, there's only print lines that we're gonna need to fill in. But before we start on the body work of finishing these 3D prints, I think we need to make sure that the scope fits first, right? So I put all the pieces together, and it looks pretty good. There's a small gap around the clamp area, which is very important if we want to snugly clamp this shell to the scope. But while we're at it, we should probably give the screen a test too, shouldn't we? Oh, oh, oh! Whoa, oh, oh, oh! Hey, we got colors! Ah, looking good! Very excited, the scope works, the screen works, now it's time to do some body work! First, I covered the 3D prints in multiple layers of a product called Filler Primer. This stuff is amazing at filling in small print lines. And once the layers were dry, I used a combination of sandpaper and sanding sponges to smooth everything out. I did five rounds of Filler Primer sand and repeat until the prints look like this. Not perfect just yet, but they're getting really close. Next, I moved on to a product called Spot Putty, which will help us fill in some of the bigger print lines that the filler primer couldn't fill. I used Spot Putty, Sand, and Repeat until it started looking like this. And guys, I am super proud with how smooth this is. At this point, I think the parts are ready for paint. So, I used a flat black spray paint to carefully coat the pieces. I don't know what it is, but there's something about a flat black scope that just feels meant to be. So now that everything's painted, it's time to figure out how we're gonna attach everything together. We are we already have an internal clamp on the 3D print, but we need a lot more clamps to sandwich these components into place. We're about to put this thing on a Barrett 50 cal, and they're known to kick like a mule. So I bought some small external clamps and bolted them to the 3D prints on the main section. I ran a bolt through the screen housing and used one more clamp to lock the barrel onto the main body. And with that, finally, the Halo sniper scope is complete. The clamps blend in super nice, and everything seems to be locked in place. At least I think so, and that's what we're about to test next. Seeing this all put together just makes me so happy. Happy. Let's go shoot this thing. But before we do that, it's time to tell you about the sponsor of today's video, Marvel Strike Force. Marvel Strike Force is a mobile squad RPG that allows you to play with your favorite team of superheroes and supervillains in a fight to save the universe against threats like Doctor Doom and the Apocalypse. Your goal is to fire up your favorite characters to complete missions, unlock gear and other resources, and beat other players in PvP models such as Alliance War and Real Time Arena. You'll recruit both heroes and villains from across the multiverse, including Iron Man, Wolverine, Venom, and much, much more. If you're a new player, you can unlock up to 17 total characters within the first 30 days, like Spider-Man, Deadpool, Thor, Captain America, and more favorites. New characters are constantly being released. Along with campaigns Blitz and Arena, there's also
also Alliance War, a massive weekly alliance battle, raids, and a cosmic crucible where you go head to head with other players in the tournament. So if you haven't already, use the link in my description or use the QR code to download Marvel Strike Force today. And if you enter the promo code Venom Gift, you will get 50 Venom shards, 500 power cores, and 5 premium orbs. Plus, celebrate the release of Marvel Studios Echo by unlocking Echo for free. But thanks to Marvel Strike Force for sponsoring this video. Okay, let's test this thing. All right, the scope is finished and we are here at Levi's Land to do a little bit of battle testing. Ryan is on the camera. Say hi, Ryan. What's up, everybody? How's it going? Ryan hasn't seen the scope yet. I haven't shown him any pictures. It's so huge! <laughs> This is a gun by itself. This is definitely a Spartan sized scope. Like, <laughs> Bring it over here, come on. Before we put this scope on a Barrett 50 cow, we have to make sure that this thing is worthy. We have no idea how this is gonna hold up. Chris Rollins set us a slow-mo camera and we're gonna film this thing in 2,500 frames to see how it reacts to being on a gun when it's fired. I hope it works out, because I don't know how you're going to reinforce this. <laughs> Dude, that's the most amazing thing I've ever seen in my life. It looks beautiful. <laughs> Oh, there you go. Sorry, my dad now, so dad jokes are in. Man, you need to work out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. It's on. Go for it, buddy. Three, two, one, fire. Ooh. Is that a ting that I heard, Ryan? That was a ting that you heard. <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> Dude, the gun waves more than the scope does. The scope is stationary. Wow, the gun okay. is moving. Give me a little wobble on the front. And other than that wobble, the scope is holding up pretty well. I'm so excited to shoot this something on a Barrett 50 cal. But the kick of an AR-15 isn't remotely close to the kick of a Barrett 50 cal. And plus, Master Chief's gonna be shooting it, so let's put it on something a little closer. The 12 gauge shotgun. The 12 gauge is gonna kick a lot more, so if there's wiggle on the scope, we're gonna see it clear as day shooting it on the 12 gauge. That is even more ridiculous than the AR-15. <laughs> <laughs> but it feels right. I feel like a sci-fi soldier, baby. Three, two, one, fire! Oh my oh, god. god! Oh no! Oh, 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 the no. kick is insane. Wow! Dude, <laughs> On that first shot, the 12 gauge shotgun ripped off the front piece of the main shell. Down. Dude, that looks so awesome! But not awesome because it just broke, Ryan. Come on! The kick pushes the gun backward and separated this piece from the front. I really didn't expect this thing to break, but if it's gonna do it, it was gonna be on that 12 gauge. Since it's already broken, let's shoot a couple more rounds through to see a little better how the shell acts around the scope. Oh no, we got a piece broken off. Well guys, we just broke it even more. But the whole point of this was to find out the flaws of our design. And now that we've done that, it's time to reinforce this scope before we put it on the Barrett, which is coming up next. Man, I'm so excited. Back to the garage. Fun testing. First things first, I used a soldering iron to weld the 3D print back together. Not super pretty, but we're gonna fix that with a little sanding and some more spot putting. Ooh, very nice. Now we need to address our clamping issue. The four clamps on the outside are awesome, but they're just not gonna cut it. So I drilled out the hole in the middle and replaced our 3D printed knob with an actual bolt. I think this is gonna secure everything in place just that much better. Now, the first thing we learned from our slow motion video is that I placed two outside clamps in the wrong spot. So I moved that clamp in line with our new bolt and all together, I think this is gonna do the trick. The second thing I learned is that I did a really crappy job securing that front barrel to the main shell. The force from the kick ripped off this piece because the barrel was not attached to anything of substance. So I decided to add a strap to the bottom of the barrel that wraps around the actual scope switch mount to hold the barrel in place when the gun moves. And with all these adjustments and fixes, I think we're finally ready to put this on a Barrett Cow. You excited to shoot a first sniper rifle in the history of sniper rifles? Is that a good way to put what we're doing? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> but you're not. Here we go. We're pulling up to Snake Creek Shooting Range, one of the only shooting ranges in the Tulsa area that allow 50 cows. Huge shout out to them for letting us come out. With me, we have Ryan, the one and only Master Chief, and the person who graciously allowed us to use their Barrett 50 cow. My man, Bart Bailey from Indian Territory Armory. There it is. There it is. This Barrett 50 cal is a work of art. And it boggles my mind that we're about to shoot one in real life. <laughs> this is gonna work just fine, isn't it? Oh yeah, it's gonna work. What do you think is the percentage of this thing flying off when you take the first shot? I don't wanna think about the percentages <laughs> right now. But before we mount our halo scope to the Barrett, we first need to sight this in with our base scope, which is a perfect opportunity to see firsthand what this Barrett is all about. We're gonna bore sight it with just the upper, so we'll bag it and get it on paper. How many rounds does that magazine hold? It'll hold 10 rounds. Oh! 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 I literally feel it. Oh, are you okay? Are you all right? <laughs> My God. Guys, I wish you could feel the power of this Barrett through this screen. All right, so now we're zeroed. We can start to reassemble the scope and see how it works. First, we set up our scope switch to allow for that quick zoom in and zoom out. And once we got the cable secure and mounted to our base scope, we carefully attached the shell around the camera mount, bolted the top down, and lined up the clamps in their new position. And with everything perfectly mounted, I would like to introduce our Halo 3 sniper rifle. Wow, 
<laughs> Guys, I don't think this could have turned out any better. From the color of this scope to the functionality, I am super proud that my scope is sitting on top of this Barrett. But one question still remains. How will this scope hold up on the Barrett when we shoot it? Well, there's only one way to find out. Wow! Ho, ho, ho. Dude, whoa! Did it break? Did it break? She's wow. good! Oh, my sweet, sweet Halo sniper scope didn't break. Mwah. Well, I guess we should shoot some more, right? Fire! Ah! Wow! I don't even know why you guys were worried. No <laughs> doubt. Woo! Fire! In three, two, one! Ow! What a relief. Our Halo 3 sniper scope has withstood a Barrett 50 cal. Plus Master Chief, which is even more of an accomplishment. But we have a lot more ammo to shoot, which means Master Chief just may need to do a mag dump later today. But first, it's about time I shot this contraption for myself. And for this special occasion, I made some targets I think you're gonna recognize. I feel like it's fitting since we got a real life Halo sniper that we're shooting at real life Halo enemies. Die. Oh. Die. <laughs> this is the stuff of nightmares, but it's payback time. And he can't shoot back. Okay, you do the red one, I'll do the blue one. We'll see how many we can land. So we're each gonna get five shots. Whoever lands the most on their target wins. And then the loser has to get a mullet. No. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, dude, this is a scary weapon. Oh, oh, this is the blast zone. What? Wow. <laughs> I already forgot what it was like. For reference, the 50 cal and what I normally shoot. <laughs> this one goes out to all you Halo 2 players who got destroyed in Sniper Alley. <laughs> oh, that was incredible! We're back in business, boys! I, I think I got him, but you know what? I kind of forgot about the accuracy portion of this. I just started firing. What do you think? <laughs> Woo! That's what I think. I think. Woo! Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> right in the what heart. Do we got? What do we got? One, two. Woo! Okay. Well, come look at this. Uh, oh, one, no. two, three, four, five. Oh! Oh! So we've got a lot more ammo. Chief, you want to help with that? <laughs> think of a better place to end this video than right here. We set out to build the first Halo sniper rifle in existence, and I can't be more happy with the results. We made the scope. It looks the part. It's functional. Thank you, Antimatter, for sending us your scope switch. That was a very awesome part of this build, and this scope is sitting on top of one of the coolest weapons of all time, the Barrett 50 Cal. Bart, thank you for letting us use your Barrett. Woo! So, if you like this video, we have a playlist right here full of all kinds. Guys, we're filming! We're filming over here! God, 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 stop it's shooting like at the shooting, shooting range. range. <laughs> yeah. Check out this playlist. We had a lot of fun making these videos and we shot all kinds of awesome Halo weapons. And let us know in the comments what you guys want to see next. Thank you guys for watching. See you later. I don't even know why you guys were worried. No doubt. <laughs>